Hey, good hey, morning. Jay. How are you guys doing? Good. We were just saying, to, to write, if you're going to be really vulnerable and write your truth, it can be hard. It can be challenging. What was it like? It was tough, you know, reliving some of the things that happened in my life to get me to where I am right now sort of brought a lot of things back up to the mm -hmm. surface, you know, mm -hmm. so it was, it was like being in therapy. <laughs> it was like my own couch <laughs> and my own bus being in my own little cubicle there and going through therapy. It really was. Was there one moment when you're writing the book where you went, she said, I don't know if I want to go down this path because it's so hard? Yeah, some, some of the things dealing with my family and my mm -hmm. complicated relationship sometimes with my father. My folks got divorced two times growing up, so, and a lot of that's in the book, but, you know, talking about that again and sort of reliving that pain in those sure. moments, it's difficult to deal with, you know, for sure. And how did how did everybody react? How was your family? How was your the band? How was Rascal Flatts? Well, my brothers in Rascal Flatts have been completely supportive, and and I love them, and I wouldn't be here without them, you know, truthfully. So, they've been great. My family's been great. My mom has been uh, awesome, and it's really a tribute in a lot of ways to her and the strong woman that she was raising us as a single mother, working two jobs sometimes, three jobs. And I just had such a really wonderful example of a woman, a strong woman to look up to in her. And with Mother's Day right around the corner, yeah. it's really, really neat that, that I was able to do that for her and tell her story. Yeah. Because I, I attribute a lot of who I am today to the foundation that she laid early on in my life by dragging us to church <laughs> like three or four times a week. Sometimes I thought that we should just have a bed there and save the money on the gas and the time going back and forth. But, you know, I realized later on in life that she was planting seeds of faith in me that would take really, really strong roots the older I got. And I really, really leaned on it through some really tough times there in Nashville trying to make it in the music business. You, the book is really, I mean, at its core, also about hope it and is. your relationship with hope. Yeah, I just feel like um, I find my hope in a relationship with Christ. And, mm -hmm. and it's, being a believer is not about being perfect by any means. It's simply admitting that we need help. We're not meant to go through this life alone, you know. And for me, I found the toughest times in my life to be better by having a strong relationship with Christ than I could lean upon. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to know that, you know, if you're willing to try a therapist, if you're willing to try Xanax and pills and everything, <laughs> Why not maybe find your answers in someone else that's higher than yourself? And yeah. faith. You know, it's so interesting because I bet people watching think like, oh, Rascal Flatts, he has, you know, Jay, he has all this star and, you know, fame and money. He doesn't need, he doesn't need anything and he hasn't suffered. But you say yeah. that there have been bumpy roads oh, yeah. and that makes the beautiful road that much better. It really does. You know, I think that uh, a lot of times when we see entertainers, we see people in the entertainment business, actors, musicians, mm -hmm. we see the end result of a lot of hard work yeah. and a lot of tough times. And that's why I wanted to tell my story. I wanted to say, look, I've screwed up. I've made a lot of mistakes. There were tough times where I wanted to give up, throw in the towel, and move away from Nashville mm -hmm. and have a real job. My son still asks me when I'm going to get a real job. But, you <laughs> we know, hope never. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. But, you know, I, I just wanted to share my story in hopes that it would encourage someone else that's probably a lot like me, doesn't know where to get started, living in the Midwest somewhere. Yeah. And there were a lot of questions and a lot of times that I doubted myself. But... I feel like um, with that foundation my mom laid early on, it helped me get over those humps even more, having that relationship than I do mm -hmm. in my faith. Yeah, this book will inspire a lot of people. Jay, thank you so yeah. much. New music coming out, too, in the tour, so all good. Yes. All good. yes. All right. Touring the yeah. summer? Yes, we start May, 6, May 16th in Cincinnati. So, oh, yes. Yeah. We good better get there. Away. All right, to check out day. Jay's book, head to today.com slash shop. It's really inspirational.